Welcome to the much-awaited bathroom reveal. It took almost two years to finish this bathroom. Um, it started as an early 2000s super dated bathroom and has been transformed in a cute 1940s style bathroom. The first obstacle we faced was picking out the tiles, specifically for the floor. We went through so many samples trying to figure out which would work. I originally wanted a diamond checker pattern on the floor tiles, so we tried out lots of different options for that. Either we didn't like the color of the samples, or they were simply too pricey. We ultimately ended up with these tiles from Fireclay in the color Magnolia. Seriously. Also, one little quirk is that um, my mom ordered a tub that had a front to it rather than a drop-in. So now we have to work with this awkward space. So we're going to tile the front of it and then put a piece of marble. Which isn't the most ideal, but I think it'll be fine. Otherwise, we would have done a drop-in with like... Um, a front with tile or paneling and then um, a tub deck with like marble or something, but we can work with it. And this is what we have so far. And a little blue strip will go here with white chair rail. Like cross as well. I think that's what it's called. I don't really know. But yeah, it looks cute. And for the like shower niche, niche, whatever you want to call it, we just did like a little marble trim around it. And then here will be like a marble piece. And then on the side here, we'll just continue the tile, which maybe I've already said that, but just to tie in the marble. And then when we have the vanity over here, we'll have a marble top as well. So yeah, that'll be cute. Also, this window right now has, um, whatever, the privacy film thing on it, which is not cute. So I'm gonna do like a little rod here with um, a cafe curtain that will go like higher up so you people can't see in. Yeah, that is just not cute. <laughs> hey, mom. Hey. That's cute. It is cute. So now I'm trying to sort out um, the color of the vanity in the bathroom. Um. I'm gonna photoshop something and see how it looks because I was thinking green but then Reese said um, like a deep red which I think would be really pretty with the blue trim like stripe with the tile so I'm gonna try and like photoshop something and see what I like best so I'll do that and then I'll show you. <laughs> Yeah. This one right here. 
Yeah, that one's very yellow. Yeah, it's too yellow. Oh, true. Oh, you see me yawning? Yeah. It, yeah, it looks too limey almost. Yeah. And that is looking very mustardy now. Yeah. I mean, like, I love the cream and bread Me too. Forever and always. Yeah, that one's really red, right? That makes me, like, not want to Yeah. Mm hmm But, God, I just let it dry. Hey, Mom. It's me. Yes. Which one? The green and the red. Those ones, yeah. So, I love that color. So, Reese, do you like this? I like this red that I'm painting right now and this one. Yeah, they're like creamy. Yeah, it's a creamy, creamy blue color. Yeah. It's just we're trying to figure out if it will look what will look good with the floor and the wall tile, which like these are the two colors you just said you liked. Excuse the mess in here with the insulation. <laughs> Cause like that one really just blends in with the floor. Mm -hmm. Which I don't, don't necessarily hate. No, not at all. And like I love this sample, but I don't like it in on this the one. Wall. Yeah. Which is Although it is drying a lot lighter. Yeah. We'll have to give it two hours. <laughs> yeah, those are just horrendous now. Well, those two. Just greens. Like, I do like that far green, but like not in here, obviously. Mm -hmm. But that first one is offensively minty. Yeah. The mirror is really dirty, but it's put a little mirror in now. It's cute. I like this little chrome hardware. Here we put in a piece of furniture just to um, kind of put a placeholder to figure out if we even liked a vanity kind of in that same color um, realm because I was having such a hard time figuring out if that was going to work or not. So this was a good way of just kind of feeling it out. So right now, all this um, chaos, I'm trying to figure out um, the color for the molding in here. And so this mirror that we got is almost exactly the same color as the background of the wallpaper. Um, but I'm trying to find a color that will then also work with the tiles, the background of the wallpaper, the mirror, and the tile. Do I already say that? Yeah, I think so. Um, I don't think it necessarily has to match exactly the background of the wallpaper and the mirror. It's something that coordinates with it, and like matching would be fine too. But 
Clearly you see there are so many swatches already and I just grabbed a few more, so I'm trying to see what looks best, but it's like when you hold it here, it's one color, when you hold it here, it's one color. And then when you put it up against the tile over here, it's a different color, so <laughs> it's a little tricky, but I'll figure it out. favorite ones I think that I feel like go with the tile are a little bit creamier kind of go with the floor and the background of the wallpaper they're pretty I mean white is so hard because there's infinite shades of white on here I'm not liking that one as much it's looking very yellow and that looks kind of green but I feel like on the camera it's like it's picking up colors a little differently but I do like these ones, so we'll see. So here's another update on the bathroom. We have the faucets and the sink in. I love this faucet, it's so pretty. And then I switched out this knob on the mirror. And then the, that same knob will go on this, like I said before. And then we put up some ground molding, which matches the rest of the house. And we painted it, what color was it called? Dover white, I think. So all the frame like molding is that color. The store is hideous, but you know, whatever. And yeah, that is the update for today. the window because it's a really big window in there but it looks onto the next door neighbor's porch so when it's your bathroom you kind of don't want people looking into your bathroom <laughs> and so I was trying to measure if I wanted to do a cafe curtain in there because I love the way a cafe curtain looks but it's kind of like cafe curtains look best when it's halfway up the window but I would want to go even more like three-fourths up the window and so I'm not sure if that looks weird so I was just trying to measure that out and I'm now looking on Pinterest to try and like find some inspiration where that like looks more normal. I think it really depends on the um, curtain rod that I use and the fabric and like you know how high quality it is for it to actually be executed well. So I'm just looking at that and I'll see what I find. Like something like that of course looks really good where it's just like halfway up the window you know. But the and like let me see. Like, that's so pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. Um, but this vibe, but it would have to be higher up the window. Like, that looks so pretty to me. Um, but I did find another picture where you can see it higher up. I'm trying to measure shower curtain height or distance like because I'm gonna do curtains, just like line curtains, so that they're because it's like 84 inches, which I don't think you can find shower curtains that long. So I'll just do 
Roll the curtains. Two panels probably just so it's more like bunched together. And then just the shower liner. So yeah, that'll look pretty. So I just ordered this um, linen shower curtain from West Elm. It's really hard to find um, 84 inch um, shower curtains, but I thought this one was really pretty and it was definitely slim pickings, but I really like this and I was looking for a linen one and I think it should be pretty. So it should be here by the weekend or so, but I'll show you guys what it looks like when it comes in. Okay, and for the light that's going to go above the mirror in the bathroom, it's this beauty from Etsy. We'll see how it looks in person, if the green is the right shade of green. But it looks really pretty, and I love the way it looks when it's lit up. It's very really, like warm looking, and then I like the pleated kind of vibe to it. So I think it'll be pretty. And the knobs in the bathroom will be like a brass, or like an unlacquered brass. So I think it will look nice with that. Um, yeah, be cute. bathroom reveal. The only thing we're missing is a doorknob, but that will be coming soon. This is like an old door that they added in, so it's freshly painted, but let's go check out the bathroom. And as you saw last time, the wallpaper was up and we were waiting to put the sconce up, so we had put this vintage sconce up from Etsy. Um, and then we styled it out a little bit. And I think it looks really cute. Um, take me by the hand, beautiful tongo, until you make me dance. How sweet it can be if you make me dance. How long? Okay, so I think when we, when we first started designing this bathroom, we were focused on the wallpaper being the like most important part of the design. So the wallpaper kind of navigate or like kind of um, what's the word? Helped me like pick each element of the bathroom designing it. It was like the main focus. Um, so it was like you, I started there and then kind of picked and choose from that. Um, so we went through like a lot of different tiles. Like I have every tile sample you can imagine now because of trying to figure out which one looked best. Um, and we ended up going with just like a basic um, four by four tile on the walls and then all the way around the bathroom as well. And then we did just a little blue stripe, which I feel like is kind of an ode to kind of more like classic like 1920s to 1940s style bathrooms. And I feel like now you see all the like white subway tiles, but I feel like because of this little blue line detail, it kind of makes it feel a little bit more original than these like new versions of the original designs, you know? Um, so I really enjoyed that little detail. And we were originally gonna do a green stripe and I'm so glad we did it because there's just so much green in the wallpaper and I feel like the blue is just a nice, you know, calmer element than all the green. And we have the green sconce, so it was just gonna be a lot of green. Um, and then, so we had we added this tub in, which is like a standard size tub. My dad takes a lot of baths, like a lot. Um, but the opening here, it had, before, it had two seats on either side, two shower heads. 
So it was it's a wider, it's like 72 inches, which is wider than standard bath. So then we had to add this little kind of marble ledge here, um, which I actually really like. I feel like that is like a nice landing spot for products and just whatever, glass of wine. You never know. Um, so I really liked that. And it's still like a nice sized tub. Um, and we could have gotten a longer tub, but you know, I feel like this was a nice, you know, compromise. Um, and then, so for the shower curtain, we, I found this natural kind of linen um, shower curtain from West Elm. And I just think it's a really nice color to go with like the, you know, I didn't want to do like a stark white with the tile and the wallpaper. I felt like this was a nice, you know, natural tone. Um, and then you'll see I do mix metals throughout. So like in here, it's the chrome kind of finish. Same with over on the sink. Um, faucets are the chrome and then I use brass on the mirror and the vanity. And then the um, sconce, of course, is the brass as well. And I feel like because of the wallpaper, I feel like you can get away with cool tones, warm tones, kind of allows for all of that. And I also really do like mixed metals. I don't really mind that ever. But yeah, okay. And also the floor tiles, that was like a really long process, the floor tiles. We had, we went through so many different versions of what we wanted to do. We were gonna do color checker and, or diamond, cause that was kind of more Victorian style, which I feel like. Um, but then we landed on, because of the wallpaper being so colorful, um, we thought we'd just make everything else very subdued. Um, so the floor tiles are just like kind of a creamy or yellow and in a chevron pattern. Um, kind of how you would see like natural stones laid, you know? Um, and I thought that was really a nice detail. Um, so another detail that I was kind of like adamant about was the grout line sizes. Um, when you look at like original tiles like this, the grout lines are almost like non-existent. Like they are super, super thin. And depending on where they're applied, like if they're in a space where it doesn't get as wet, sometimes they wouldn't even add grout and it would just be like the tiles like resting on each other, which I love. And I feel like those are the little details that really matter in terms of like wanting to recreate those original styles. Um, so I was like, when we talked to the tile people, I was saying that it needed to be the tiniest grout line you can possibly do with these tiles. And so this was as tiny as they could go. Um, and I feel like it's, I feel like it's exactly what I would have done. Like it's very thin. Um, and I think that that makes such a difference because also with, um, subway tiles that they lay now, I feel like there's always those fat or like dark grout lines and I'm like, mm, I don't like that. Um, but as far as the floor, floor, you have to go thicker grout line just because these tiles are bigger. So you need more traction. Um, and ideally you wouldn't have floor tiles so big, but I feel like it was also, it still worked because of the grout size and like the pattern, so there is more traction. But I thought that was a detail that um, was really important to point out because I feel like those little tiny details really make such a difference. Um, and then, wait, we didn't talk about that. And the next thing I want to talk about is the color of the vanity. Um, along with the debate of tile choices, the vanity color was highly, highly debated. <laughs> we didn't know if we were going to go greens, blues. Um, when I saw, I was just kind of pulling from here and I saw this red color and I was like, that could be really good. Um, also then I was like, maybe a darker color or you go like this yellowy or kind of like this more pistachio green. And we, Reese helped me choose the red because I was just like really in my head about it and I couldn't visualize it. So we would, we actually painted a big kind of like cardboard piece and held it up to really see the color. Um, and when we put the greens and the yellows and the other colors up, it just didn't, it fell flat, you know? So I think that the red really just like added a nice like richness to it that the space and like less quirkiness i feel like if you if i had gone green or yellow it'd be like almost too quirky um with the wallpaper so i was very like aware of not going too much that direction of the wallpaper because it could easily get like kind of like kitschy i guess or like too overly like quirky 
and I wasn't trying to do that. I wanted it to be still like chic and classy and timeless, but with a fun wallpaper. And yeah, so I feel like this deep red is also kind of a little bit more of a trending color, which I'm very into, those like burgundies. Um, so I thought that was a really nice choice and I love the like flat brass knobs on it. And I actually had the cabinet maker add these little vent holes, um, which you will usually see in a kitchen on or like on upper cabinets for like ventilation. But I just like it as a detail, so I was like, add it in. Even though it makes not that much sense, but I mean, the towels in there can then get a little bit of airflow, you know, so that's fine with me. Um, why am I out of breath? <laughs> okay, so like you've seen in all of my design videos, I talk a lot about cafe curtains and um, I just love them. I think that there's such a sweet feminine kind of touch that they bring to a space. Um, and this window actually looks onto a neighbor's just like back porch. So with a bathroom, you can't really just, you know, have the window just open, which would be like ideal to put in space. Um, you know, if it was just like trees and greenery forever, then you wouldn't even need a window covering. Um, but I think that the cafe curtain is a really good way to have a space to allow light in the window section where you are able to kind of just like not cover it because no one can see in through here. Um, and then because I did this like um, white linen, it allows to the light to filter in really nicely. And you can't like, you could maybe see shadows, but you can't like, actually see the person in the bathroom. Um, and it's just really pretty. And I got it made on Etsy. I'll link the um, maker below and got a rod on rejuvenation. And they, they make really tiny um, brackets. So like you can fit them in like inside mount like this. Um, and look at the wind blowing it. Like there's just something so, romantic and southern and feminine reset southern vibe. <laughs> <laughs> it just like reminds you of like a southern house like in yeah. the summer when the wind blows yeah. like and it could be south of france it could be southern in like the yeah. united states just that like warm environments that are just like yeah. trying to filter those lights that like light in but you still need your privacy and i don't know just so freaking cute i love it um, so yeah, that's the Catholic Curtain in action. It's a cutie. We gonna make it through, cause we've got time. Yes, we've got time.